Good day and welcome. Today's how-to series for the UC1 is our Quick Connect uh, part of the series. This is part one of many and today we will be showing you how to set up the unit out of the box quick and easy. So we have the UC1 which is the wireless conferencing unit. We have two uh, dongles or the UC dongles. We have a USB-C and we have an HDMI dongle. And then we have the UC1 box. Okay, on the UC1 box is quite simple. Taking it out of the box and all that we've literally done on the unit is plug in the three aerials for the wireless access, an HDMI cable and a power cable. All right. If you look at the box quickly at the back, we have a line out on the unit over there. We have an RS-232. We have some USB-C and USB 3A uh, connections. We have the HDMI output, two LAN ports, power supply port, and a small, tiny little reset button. If we look at the front of the unit, quite quick and simple, we have a power button at the front. We have a USB-A and a USB-C port. This is to pair the dongles to the unit initially. It's also for a mouse and keyboard. If uh, you want to do moderator, which we will bring up in one of our other parts of our series, as well as the touch capabilities for the unit uh, from the casting uh, aspect of um, mirror cast. So that's the unit. All that we have done is physically plugged in a power supply cable and an HDMI cable. The HDMI cable is going from the unit to a display or a projector, anything of that sort, and the power supply is just powering up the unit. The unit is also PoE powered, but that will be coming up in one of our other parts of our series. Uh, we will show you the network uh, connection side of everything. So today, all we're gonna do is quite simple, is we plugged in the unit, we wanna get our laptops uh, to share our screen or present our screen wirelessly, either via wireless, app, uh, wireless connection directly through to the unit or via the dongles. So the unit comes defaulted out of the box on a, a, a protocol or a setup called wireless uh, Wi-Fi Direct. Um, and that means all that it's doing is the wireless access point of the unit is giving off Wi-Fi signal. And that's how we're gonna connect up uh, all our units today. So to, to get started, you would need to pair the units or the, the dongles to the, to the box. So quite simple. You take the USB-C dongle, you take that guy, and you would plug it into the, sorry, <laughs> the USB-C port of the UC1. So we'll just show you over there. So at the moment, you'll see the, the unit is flashing. If you look at the display or the home, home uh, screen of the UC1, uh, you will see there it says that it's it's checking that the firmware is, is the same on the UC1 and the dongle, which they're matching. And then it says paired successfully. So great. So now we're done. We don't have to click the OK button or anything like that. It will disappear. We just connect that one and we're done with the, US, the USB-C. On the HDMI unit, you'll see there's a USB-B, a USB-A connection. We take that guy and we plug it in to the box. The same thing will apply now. Uh, it'll come up with that um, screen saying that the firmware is, is the same as the firmware of the, the box, uh, and then it will pair the unit. Once it's paired the unit, it'll then say paired successfully, and then we can disconnect. Give it a couple of seconds, and there we go. So speed successfully, and we can take it out. Great, so now we have the box, we have it all powered up, we can see the uh, on-screen display, and on the on-screen display, it says to you there, 
You can share via OS, iOS, uh, mirroring, which is AirPlay. You can do smart view from Android. Uh, you can do mirror cast uh, from a PC, which is all a wireless side of the unit. But then you can also see there that it says that there's an application for Mac and PC, as well as the HDMI D and USB C D uh, dongles connected through to, to, to some, some laptops. So, what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna take the USB-C dongle and uh, we are gonna plug that into uh, the Mac PC because I don't have a converter or anything like that. We could obviously use the HDMI USB if we had a converter, but it's easy. USB-C, plug it in. And what you'll then see is the unit will start to flash. My screen disappears and comes back. It'll then run a a little auto file on the on the computer as well you'll see there that it's gone green if I then press the button the the application will pop up and it will then start sharing my machine immediately don't have to do anything I don't have to click any buttons or whatever the case is it does it nice and automatically look so great cool so now we're happy it's it's uh, extending the the desktop, whatever the case is, and I can start my presentation and away we go. So, very nice. So what we're gonna do is just disconnect there from now so that we can show you on the Windows side. So on a Windows laptop, this laptop does has USB-C as well, but we're just gonna show you the HDMI and USB connection. So again, very simple. The unit will start to flash. Uh, sorry, you'll see it flashing there, a little bit green. Once it's static green, we then know we are ready to go. So there it's now static green. You'll see the application is here in the corner asking you what you want to do. You could then just leave it as is, press the button, and away you go. It's now sharing my laptop up onto the screen, and we're doing our presentation, and we are happy. Okay, but now the other guy wants to also share so he's going to then plug the, the little dongle back into his PC and that will then, so now they can both see each other on screen so that they can compare their notes. So very cool. It'll start to flash again. You'll see, you see your screen disappears and comes back. Press the button. And then all of a sudden you have two screens up on there. One Mac, one Windows. We can then do our presentations. We can show us our, our, our spreadsheets there and do our comparisons. So amazing. The other side of it is, like we said, we can do airplay or screen mirroring um, and mirror cast as well as the application. So the application at this stage is we'll take out the dongles. So you can see that we are not using the dongles at all. So we disconnect those dongles and put them back in a safe place so that the guys don't lose them. <clears throat> okay, so both Windows and Mac have an application that you can download. Um, if you have a look on the home screen of the UC1, it will give you a Wi-Fi IP address. You can type that IP address into your browser. So 192.168.43.1, you can do it in any browser. It'll then connect to the interface of the unit, the, the web interface of the unit, excuse me. And um, you can choose the application for your, for your laptop. So you've got a Windows application, you've got a Mac application, and you can then download that. So we've already done that, and we can then see the units come up on, on, the, on, the, on the units as well. So if we go here, and we go ALF Wireless Media for Windows, and I select it, you'll see the application come up. I am connected wirelessly through to the UC1 at the moment, so you can see there, there's obviously, again, no internet access because we don't have any, uh, any other uh, cables connected up. We just want to present. So that's very nice. You then hit the connect button. It's then going to give you, uh, ask you for a passcode. The passcode is just underneath the SSID on the uh, home interface. So it'll be four zeros and then four numbers so that it changes all the time. That will refresh every five minutes. And then I can click on the unit and say, ready to share. 
Now you can see that it's sharing up onto our screen and away you go. Same thing, no internet access or anything like that. All I wanna do is wirelessly present straight to, to the unit. Great, we're happy. So we can stop sharing. I can then go to my Mac laptop or, or Mac platform. I can then go and find the unit, uh, the, the installation or the, the app, excuse me. I can select the app. Again, connected to the wireless of the UC1, um, not to my corporate network or whatever the case is. I then find the unit, I say connect. I put in the passcode once again, and I can say ready to share. And we're on screen. Again, same thing applies. So now I can go back to the, Mac, the Windows PC. I'm gonna say ready to share, and then both of them come up on the screen. So, which is great. Uh, so you can do wireless sharing from the application and you don't need any cables or anything, any dongles or anything like that. So that's great. Okay, so lastly on the unit, we can do what we call mirror cast. So we're gonna exit out of the application on the Windows machine. We're gonna exit out of the application on the Mac machine. Uh, exit out, thank you. So again, we're still connected wirelessly through to the, the UC1. I'm gonna go into my Mac. I'm gonna then do screen mirroring, which is essentially AirPlay. I can see the UC1. I click on it and we can then connect up. So it gives a couple of seconds and then you can see there. It gives you the option to mirror your built-in display or you can use a separate window. So. When you want to do presentation, you don't really want guys to see your original display, so you can then share your second display. Great. From a, from a Windows PC, okay, we would then go and look, this is Windows 11, so we would then go and type in your search to connect to a wireless display. You can see over there, we go there, we say connect to wireless display. There's the option to connect. We bring up that little window, Give it a couple of seconds. You'll see the UC1 there. I say connect. We give it a couple of seconds. The screen will then do uh, the Windows 11 mirroring option and then straight away. So now we don't use the application of UC1. We don't use the dongles of UC1. We only use the, the features of Windows and Mac built-in. So AirPlay, mirror cost. So amazing. At the end of the day, there's nothing more that you can do than that. And then you can wirelessly present. So I disconnect from this side and it'll just bring up my, um, my Mac PC. If I go then and disconnect from this side, from the Mac, so we go there and we say disconnect. You'll see that it'll go back then to my home screen and we can then start the session. You will see on the home screen as well, there is a passcode with a, a little refresh button next to it. That refresh icon will do a countdown timer. You can start it at five minutes up to, I think it's an hour, if I'm not mistaken, that the passcode will change. But once you've connected and you've disconnected again, you can also set up the unit to clear history. So it'll clear the passcode and it'll clear any other functionality that you did on the device. Um, and that will then allow you for your next person to come in the room, connect up to the unit, new, new passcode, and uh, they can share while, uh, privately without any distractions or anything like that. That, in a nutshell, is the quick connect guide uh, to the UC1. This is again part one. There's many parts to come. In the, the next up and coming parts, we will be doing the UC side of the unit, you know, because we say it's a wireless conferencing unit. That means we can take um, uh, USB peripherals, so speakerphone, microphone, cameras, uh, DSPs with USB capabilities, and plug those guys into the, into the box, and then allow that to share wirelessly through to our laptops. It doesn't matter, again, Windows or Mac, for our UC platforms, so Teams, Zoom, and so on. That is the quick and easy guide 
how to set up the UC1. Uh, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.